Hi everyone and welcome back to Kaizo Mario Dun Rock. I am not going to lie, I am going to be using safe states all the time from now on. Fact of the matter is, these next few levels, uh, the, the the spike in difficulty is just tremendous. It's it's just outright impossible for me to like uh, beat these levels without using a multitude of safe states. Anyway, uh, that uh, key with the keyhole right there in the beginning, that was just me... Uh, Trying to test out uh, the passage to this level. But Vanilla Secret 1 is completely unedited, so... Really no point to me to really play this. Anyway, back here. Ignore the key. Cop these guys. Die. Start over. Okay, so for the beginning of this stage, it's... <laughs> I really can't begin to explain it, really. It's just... I mean, look at this. You have to make this jump, and it's... It's just almost impossible, because... I'm gonna show you guys why right here. This thing! With that invisible block right there, it's impossible to just make this jump by just jumping. You can, however... Uh, Try, touch it. You can't hit the block and then come back here and then use that block to, like, uh, allow yourself to continue with the stage. But then, well, even even with that block there, it's still difficult. Invisible blocks here. So, <laughs> on an auto scrolling segment already, and I already have to deal with invisible blocks everywhere in ways that are just, uh, stupid. Fact of the matter is, uh, the fact- Oh, goodness, I, how many times do I use that word anyway? Fact of the matter is. Way too often, honestly. And that was the wrong thing to do. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. Basically, I, I need to get this thing. And you need to use it to make your, yourself some passages. So you need to pick this thing up and you have to go down there quickly. And you need to use the shell to make yourself passages. That's how you proceed through the beginning right there. Of course, uh, if you're up here, you die. And that's gonna happen quite often, just for me trying this. Okay, safe state's here. Because I have to jump out of this thing in a single go. Like this. Get the shell. And then you basically have to use the shell to make yourself some passages. That's how you continue with the level. Uh, but don't lose the shell! Uh, I missed it, but I can use this guy, except then I died to him. What, really? How did that work? And <laughs> I have to do it multiple times right at the end. Oh my goodness. Finally! Oh, okay. Sorry for the silence back there, but... As I showed... Just, I, I have to use slowdown now. That's how difficult the levels are gonna be. And it's this isn't even the toughest level. And I'm still in a rush. Like, oh my goodness. I have to constantly hurry. I, I don't believe I need that shell anymore, but uh, I'm carrying it with me just in case.
Oh, whatever. I'll get rid of it. a situation that's impossible to win right now because I safe stated a bit too late. Not even the toughest level and I'm already struggling to beat it. And I, I'm sorry for so much silence but I have to focus to even like get through this level now. Ugh, it doesn't, it doesn't help that I don't have much to say but seriously. Okay that's a lot better. Uh, the f f next following few levels are gonna be like this very often, by the way. Just me silently playing them. Might as well be non-commentary at this point. These levels. By the way, some of you may have noticed the uh, red uh, unactivated uh, block outlines. That's because you're supposed to do this level a second time, and the second time you'll actually get to the spot where I would have put the key in and uh, using that you would beat the level a second time. That hasn't happened though, for a very good reason. Because I was running out of ways to make these levels really difficult. That's better. Uh, still in the beginning and segment is still really annoying. Don't know what's, what, what's, what's up with these Koopas. I guess they're just there for the looks. Maybe I need one of them though? Who knows. Also invisible blocks, of course. Can't get enough of those. Where do they all go? Ah, the, the, the part in the middle is uh, where the opening is. Well, I can always use one. Oh, of course! Oh my goodness, it blocks the way too. So I have to, like, make a road for a bit. Or actually, there's an opening at the far right end too. So gotta activate those two invisible blocks. This one up here. Then while holding the run button, spin jump. And don't hold the spin jump button, just Press it once exactly. Tap it, basically. I think that's the term. Yep. Okay, okay. So that's that segment. That was, that was complete junk. Hopefully this segment will be a bit more fun. And I think it will be, actually. Because it's a star segment. So no worrying about me not being invincible. I'm just gonna wait for the star to... Almost drop in lava. Well, I'm done. <laughs> but, you know, just a humor. Yeah, so basically, I'll try to do at least this segment fairly. Because the first one right back there, that was, no, too much. I don't know if it's important that I get to start the last second, second, but uh, I feel like it's something I would force myself to do, you know? And yes, you do have to go up there if you want to survive. What? How did I drop it? Jump. And almost had it. Okay, I definitely don't need the star to last longer than it should, so I'll just catch it every time from now on. How did I drop it again? Jeez. There, except then I forgot to spin jump. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to save state just before that final segment. I said I would beat this part fairly, but it's just been annoying right now. <laughs> Safe state. There. Finally. Then we're here. Now, there's a bull bill there. That's... That's because we're gonna have to do this segment again. Well, actually, no. I won't, I won't be doing this stage again. Because even with all the purple things or red switch things... It's simply not tolerable for me. Someone uh, in a previous video asked why I used safe states so much in that one video. Well, it's because of this. I mean, I mean, just look at stuff like this, followed by the invisible switch right there. The uh, invisible block right there. That's exactly why I safe states so often now. Well, at least this promises to be a bit more fun than the Black Piranha Plant Central uh, back in the first beginning of the stage. Like, I can at least take my time here. It's not auto-scrolling. I'm probably gonna need that thing. For some reason. I guess to protect myself. Hmm. Actually, this segment right here is a lot easier. Possibly even doable. Okay. Come over here. That's one down. Two down. Three. Okay, that'll be enough. What about here, though? Yeah, you, definitely looking at all the switch blocks uh, here. It's clear that the setup at the level completely changes when it's activated. I'm not... I'm not gonna bother showing that, no, honestly. Hmm. Oh, and that's the other uh, spot where we're supposed to use the key. Oh, okay, and that's why... Yeah, so basically... You guys remember the key at the beginning? That's actually where it's supposed to spawn. You're supposed to carry the key all the way. I think. Maybe? Yeah, actually, yeah. All the way. You just, you don't go through that star segment because uh, you go above. But it's kind of crazy that I expected players to carry that key all the way to here. Just ridiculous. And did I seriously die just here? Is that seriously it? Apparently it is. Invisible box at the end right there, but uh... Oh. Wait. Kaiser trap, isn't it? But what did I miss? Well, I guess I was supposed to like, uh, go above. Yeah, that, that seems obvious. Okay, so I'm supposed to go above here, right? Not not on that thing, just... There has to be like an invisible block somewhere. Yeah, that, that guy right there. That bullet bill up there, that's I'm supposed to hop off that thing. If I could just reach it. Yeah, okay, okay. Fair enough. So the beginning of this level is simply way too painful. Uh, I I couldn't even like focus properly. I had to stay silent all the time. Then the second half happens and it's considerably more tolerable. Largely because I can take my time. But for the beginning, no, that, that was way too much. That's cruel and unusual. But as I said, it wasn't even the toughest challenge yet. This is Rush Caves 101, the toughest level I made in this ROM hack. 
At least I believe uh, nostalgia could be clouding my judgment. And it could also be after I press the Switch Palace that this level becomes the toughest one of them all. But whatever, that's for next time. Sorry if this level, this video was a bit boring, but that's just because of the nature of these levels. They're just uh, garbage at this point. Anyway, I hope you somehow enjoyed this video and hope you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.